when you're faced with it. having to own your you it. throw people away. Girl, you go to the internet and you see so, you passing blame on everybody. And you want to act like you have it all together. Love, I don't clearly because no, I choose the wrong people. And you choose right. the wrong people wrong because you have to work me. on you. Absolutely. Exactly. Oh, That's why I'm leaving you. That so I can work on myself. That, so at the end of the day, off. as much of a sack ass piece of as you are, you are my sack ass piece of I'm Monice, I'm a singer-songwriter, and I have been in the business since I was 16. I've been in girl groups, I've pursued a solo career, I've taken a break, and recently I've been launching my own company. This first entrepreneurial venture of mine is sex toys. For me, it's all about not having a financial care in the world, being able to give my son everything that he wants, everything that he needs, without having to rob Peter to pay Paul. So it's been a minute. I haven't seen you in a while. I know, it's been a really long time. How's everything going with Ray? Work is crazy, Ray is crazy. You know, what about you? Like, you know, what's going on with the business and, and the adult line? Well, we are working on the heating systems right now for hey, the dildo. That? and I can't wait. So they're gonna have like a, like warm? Yeah, they get warm, all the way up to 107. Hot. It's only a matter of time before I'm slinging hot <laughs> when that day comes. I've known Monique since maybe about 2010. You know, we had our own issues, but you know, I will say that I am proud of the girl right now because not too long ago, she was definitely going through some crazy ass custody battle with Fizz. You know, what's been going on with you and Fizz and the whole thing, because before, you know, it was, he had you on those monitored visits with the baby and just all that craziness that, you know, are you guys good now? Are you, are you able to even be in his presence? The custody battle's over, it's done. It's oh, water good. under the bridge. Good, we good. have joint custody, yeah. but sometimes- How often is he with you? Right now, Cameron does live with him primarily, but he spends the weekends with right, me. Is he living closer now or is he still living in LA? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't even know where his dad lives. It all came about with the temporary restraining order. That is no longer valid, it was thrown out. But Fizz can't leave the past in the past, so our relationship is not good. The way that he treats me lets me know where his mindset is. I've been trying to get a hold of him, and it's damn near impossible with him. I mean, we're supposed to, you know, help each other carry the load along the way. I could never forgive a that even try to play with me when it comes to my kid. Yeah, I gotta go handle that. It's not okay to ignore me when I'm just calling to find out about my son. I've been playing it cool since he likes to toss around restraining orders and whatnot. However, I think it's time for us to have a talk. I don't wanna go in like, seeming hostile, because you know me. You know how I You're fight. Crazy. I fight with my words. And you and I fight aim, with everything else. And I aim to kill. Hope that situation doesn't end up in handcuffs. I'll be good. Ever since my son Cameron told me about Drew's new girlfriend, I can't help but to feel some type of way. And I feel like it's my job to take my mole whacker and knock that hoe right back into her place and let her know exactly how I feel. Bottom line, at the end of the day, Amanda needs to know no stepping on my toes because Mama Bear doesn't play when it comes to her cup. First, I want you to know that I'm going to give you, as a woman, the benefit of the doubt. I wanted to rip your face off, but because I'm trying to get to a space that's amicable with you, I'm not going to. I don't dislike you. What we don't I know don't, each other. We don't know each other. What I didn't appreciate was if you're picking my son up from school and you're watching my son and you're cooking his meals and you're this and that, the fact that you're comfortable with that, never having met me, never having had a conversation with me, all that before you're the bar comfortable with I'm, that, never having met me is a little off. Which I'm is not comfortable is with it. You'll go weeks without seeing Cameron. How is that okay? You don't think I call to find out where the f my son is? You don't think I want to know where he lays his head? You don't think I want to know what bitches are in and out of his life? You're the fourth since he's been born. So of course I want to know. But if somebody refuses to answer the phone and that's the only line of communication I have, I'm sort of at his mercy. I am absolutely blown to the floor that Amanda would ever fix her lips to tell me how to be a fit mother. Me and Drew have been together for two years and I'm in Cameron's life whether you know it or not. I see that Drew has him 99% of the time. I don't give a f if you're together, how long you've been but together, you're just how little, long. You're just a this is, no, this is, I'm not angry. What I want you to do is worry about getting 
and let me worry about my child. If you're with my son every day, then every day you need to call I don't need to do that. You should assume what's going on. I don't need to assume because if I assume, then I'd be assuming my way to the house every day to hand you an ass whooping and it would just be that. If you think you're gonna be here forever, I am power gonna be to here you. forever. Definitely you guys go ahead and Thank hold you. on to that hope. Getting your green card it's until that a, day. You don't you hop into your little you dinghy, sail off into the sunset, you don't, you don't and pack on back <laughs> to whatever little country it is that you came from. I don't know whether or not me and Drew are gonna be able to get over our differences, but what I do know is Monisa is getting on my last nerve. I didn't get to say everything I wanted to last meeting, but things are definitely about to change. Hello. Hey, how are you? All right, how are you? I got a text from whore Amanda saying she wants to meet up, and I don't know what the hell she could possibly want with me since she and baby daddy aren't even together. So I'm gonna be a nice girl, and I'm gonna go hear her out so that later on down the line, I don't get blamed for ignoring her. I called you here today because I've been hearing that you've been saying like slick little comments and house hunting, which I think is completely unacceptable. So you feel like me showing up when he was house hunting was inappropriate? I just feel like your comments, oh, I'm gonna move into this bedroom, are extremely inappropriate. I mean, I can jokingly say whatever I want. He was a man that I was and engaged to. As a woman, you should understand that it's not okay, I don't think it's funny, and I don't think it's cute, and I think that's something that you should you should get. Sweet sister has some nerve. I had a baby with Drew, and I will talk to him and joke with him however I so choose. Besides, when I made one simple request that Amanda reach out to me when she was alone with my son, she couldn't be bothered. So why should I give a flying what this bitch has to say? I now only care for the emotional well-being of my child. I understand from Drew, you have commitment issues, mm -hmm. and so my concern is the in and out, in and out. When you break up with Drew, you break up with Cameron. Me and Drew have done this 100 times and taken a break 100,000 times. Oh, so, so you've broken up from Cameron 100 times? No, it's, it's not It's not about It is about no, Cameron. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's solely about Cameron. I feel like you shouldn't be around Cameron at all until you're really ready to be a mother. That's Monisa, that makes no type of sense, and you're delusional if you think that's normal. Don't call me that. Don't call me but what you are going to do is respect me as Cameron's mother. No. Or we if you can't, can't respect be... me, if you can't respect me and, and me and Drew's relationship. Who are relationship, you that I need to respect you? I don't you. need to respect you then. Do you take Cameron to school every don't day? Take me there. Do you make him dinner I'm at night? I'm telling you, don't take me there. Do you take him a bathroom every night? I'm telling you, don't take me there. I don't think there. so. So I'm when that I'm happens, telling you don't take me there. I'll give you all I'm the respect in the world. You don't take me there. The fact that I haven't come across this table and knocked you clear into yesteryear, honey, I done caught the spirit, Jesus. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. I think sometimes you can be well, a little we're delusional. Stop saying that. We're I'm not, not gonna stop not. saying that because that's something okay, that I really so truly you're not feel. Gonna stop talking. And I'm not talking. I do feel sometimes you are and delusional. I just set that boundary and said, "Don't." Call I didn't call you. I said you you're a little delusional me. sometimes. I don't want to hear anything that's not my name. Wrinkle Stiltskin is skating on really thin ice with me. I'm trying to hold it together because I need answers. Are you together or are you not together? Drew is telling me I was dating a woman who I don't feel is ready to be here forever. We're working on it and now I'm ready to deal with it and I've weighed out all the options and weighed out your crazy ass and weighed out Cameron. I told you about talking to me like you've lost your rabbit Monique, ass because mind. you're clearly not understanding so I need to I'm break it down to you in steps because you don't get it. I apologize for calling you crazy and delusional, Monique. Thank you. I apologize for that. But Thank let me explain you. it to you again for the hundredth time. Me and Drew were on a break. Do you understand that? Do you get it? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? because I'm furious that his microwavable thought pocket had the nerve to question me as a mother. How dare she? I don't care who drew f but I do care who spends time around my muffin. So I feel like it's time for him to get rid of this two cent hooker once and for all. Hello. What's up? What's going on? You tell me, man, what the hell happened the other night? Things just kind of got out of control. She basically told me she would never respect me as Cameron's mother. She then 
then accused me of being delusional and all these other things. The disrespect was just at an all-time high. They kept saying, don't talk to me like that, Amanda. And I was very calm, and I snapped. Your reaction does not help us in any way, shape, or form move forward in co-parenting or help out in me trying to build a family for, for our son. I have a bad energy about Amanda. I'm simply asking you to make sure that before she comes back around Cameron, she's all in for Cameron. It's not your duty to protect him, it's mine because he's with me. Whether Period. he's with me or not, I still have a maternal instinct I have that says, best interest. whatever actions I take mm -hmm. is what he's gonna be a part of. Period. Because he's with me. Me and Amanda are done, like literally with a capital D, done. So I'd be damned if Monique sit up here and try to dictate who I could be with. At the end of the day, you know I'm never gonna put Cameron in any harm's way. I don't want him around anybody. I'm always even cautious bringing him around you. I look at Amanda and I don't see a young woman who's ready to be a mother to someone else's child. My child. I don't know why. I, that's the vibe I get from her. Well, I'm sorry so you have I'm that vibe. That's you something you're gonna have to get over. When you live, I'm expressing to you what I feel and why I feel it. F you, shove it up your ass and fucking deal with it, bitch, is what you're saying to me in a roundabout way. At the end of the so day, unless Cameron is coming to you saying she, that she's affected by Amanda she, or whoever I'm with, then you shouldn't have she's no concern. Over here, she's Period. over there. She's fucking this one. She's fucking that one. She's with you. She's with Cam. Then she's not. I don't know if the bitch is going to be fucking it if you go out of town. She's with Cameron. I don't no, the bitch is messy, and that's the vibe I get. And so when a bitch walks into a meeting, sit down with me and tells me what you feel about your me. son is irrelevant, and I'm gonna do me regardless of what you feel, f you. Bitch, no, f you. How about you eat some granite? How does that taste? You like it? Because the next line. time, you'll be too out of line and you're immature. And, and I'm not apologizing to her. Both of y'all mother is crazy. I don't well, know I'm what's going on with her. I don't know what's going on with you or y'all. Life. Don't put her back in front stupid, of me. Yo. Unless it's affecting that our child, that has it, nothing it, to do with but how you, you feel. I'm period. telling you that I feel like our it will son, affect our, our child. Our son loves so that girl. If you Regardless leave if I'm me, with her so or you not, leave me he no loves choice. Her. And I wouldn't be shocked if the next time you see Amanda, the bitch is lumped up or you don't see her at all. all right, I wish you would. Try it. I already did it. I wish you would. And I'll do it again. All I need is you and that good love. I'm in hell and your Vicky secret. Girl, I love it when you lookin' decent. Good lotion. Good love, girl, you stay cause commotion. Especially when you naked in that good lotion. Tonight is a night that I've been waiting for for a very long time. So a lot of hard work and stress has gone into taking my lotion from an idea in my head to a video cross promotion and now finally a launch. I mean, I'm a happy man. Also, I want to give a special shout out to my baby mama in the back for being in the video. I really appreciate your love and support this time around. Thank you again. Everybody get home safe. Have a great night. One love. I'm proud of Drew and sincerely wish him the best with his lotion launch, but that's not why I came here tonight. I knew that Nikki was gonna be here and after she ruined my engagement with Rich, I wanted to see what the botch Barbie had to say for herself. Hello. Hi, how, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Hi, honey, how are you? Good. Question. What's up? Um, so let's just skip the pleasantries and get right to it. Okay, go ahead. So um, when I saw you at the video shoot, right. Were you present for my conversation with Drew? No. No, right? No. So did you hear from my mouth Absolutely anything not. that was said? No. No, but so when you ran into my man right. and you stuck your nose in my business, I would never say and my it nose caused in me to get a ring and thrown in know, my face. Listen, I'm not done. Okay. That kind of gets people up on the daily. You understand? Well, you should so talk don't, to your baby dad because no, he's no, the no, one who no, told no. me that. What's this? Okay, what's this? Right. Right. When I ran into Rich, it was a casual conversation. I would never hate on your relationship or throw salt on your man or you. At the end of the day, I don't know that. I'm not, Nobody, but you're telling me, oh, you're sticking your nose. No, it is. 
Like, why are y'all ruining this right now? But Nikki tells me, Nikki, I, I heard that my baby mama told me she's still in love with me. That's a conversation between y'all two. But Speak he didn't with go him. back to Rich and tell Rich and but he, because you I did. ran into him. You I, did. Get your hand out of my face, honey. You get did. your hand out of my face. Well, get your hand out of my face. So get your mother. I don't know what's going on, but what I do know is I'm not gonna let nobody put their hands on my people. Not Miss Nikki Baby, not anyone that I love. I might be little, but don't ever get it up. I will whoop a bitch's ass. Talking Nikki, I'll your motherfucking ass up. You know why people don't like you? Shut up, bitch. I'm right here, bitch. Come on. Come here. So come on this side. Oh, we don't get over there. What is your point coming here doing this? Seeing Monique get ratchet like this in my event has got me hot. I really thought we turned over a new leaf and she was beginning to be more of an adult. But watching her go after Nikki like that, it's just kind of disappointing. You know, I expected more out of her. You coming up here ruining my so disrespectful right now. Well, over some bull that you dealing with. That has nothing to do with me. I have no idea. Your little relationship has nothing to do with me. I wish you the best with that. I can't control that. But I am my own person. What you can't control is your freaking attitude coming in here acting like a mad woman. That's what you can't control. And I decided to act like a mad woman. And my Remember that. Remember that. And my talking to me and Dave. I'm there. I know you don't. Call and so, talk to your son. That's all you need to do. I do that seven days a week, baby. So don't even go there. Don't act like we don't do that already, because we definitely do. Hi, baby. Thanks, give it up, pretty girl. Ooh, yeah. We're bad, but you're still all about to me. Every time I come through, uh, we're bad, but you still need to start at the life of the party. So tonight is my listening party, and I can tell that everybody's feeling my new record, Bad Bitches Do, just as much as I am. And fingers crossed, Little Doo Doo, AKA Little Stupid, AKA Little Brandy, shows up so I can expose her for the bad bitch that she is not. Hey, oh bitch. Gosh. Ouch, you're so contour you cutting me. Did it? I'm sorry. Patch, patch, band aid. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I'm liking this. Thank you. Super cute. Get Speaking of bad bitches, yeah. are the bad dog? crew coming? I don't know. I invited them. I literally, you oh, know, you I actually did. Yeah, I don't have phone numbers, so I decided to DM them. Princess didn't confirm or deny. I don't know if Brandy saw it. Princess responded, LOL. And I was just like, funny. this really isn't about Princess for me. No. You know, this is about Brandy, and I just send it the invite because I know they're closed, and I know one would have probably passed it to the other anyway. And so I'm just trying to see how you plan on this going. Well, I don't plan on it ending very well. That was never the goal here. But why would you want to be your own listening party? Well, you know, because sometimes we have to make sacrifices. Honestly, I don't think turning this one listening party into a show is that big of a deal. My new record is a smash, and it's going to be a hit no matter what. I just pray that the Lord doesn't smite me down. I, for one, think this is a terrible idea. It's OK. And I'm in. Yes! <laughs> this is a bad what idea. Do. I hear okay. clunking. I, hear I see clunking. a mutt and a trainer and a handler. Three of them? Yes. Oh my God. Wow. Me, my girl Brianna Dene, a true singer, and my girl Princess roll up like the true bad bitches that we are. So you don't want to turn this place out. We will if we have to. Right. Hello. I would like to take this moment to thank everybody for coming. And I would also like to acknowledge a couple of people. Princess and Brandy, we've come a long way. I also wanted to share the fact that Brandy, Becky found me, and she was not serving me lemonade. She was serving me piping hot tea. And the tea. Brandy went looking for her husband, and then she attacked Becky, and then she was arrested. So I've come to the conclusion that if that were my life, I'd be unhappy too. 
The real story with Becky is it was a very dangerous situation and the police had to be called. But let's be clear here, it had nothing to do with my husband. What really pisses me off is that that little girl had the nerves to lie on my family and myself in public. What you're not about to do is get on the microphone and sit here and talk about my friend like this. Let's finish this conversation. That's the best you could do, lie to make yourself relevant. You should go on with that story with the attention that you need because you're a mother joke. You know what's not a joke? The police report that this woman showed me. It's 100% actual factual. Calm down, child, or we might have to return you to the pound. Monice wasn't inviting us to the party to be on some grown woman shit. But what she's not gonna do is sit there and try to make her pathetic life better by tarnishing my friend's life in front of everybody. You got the story so wrong, just like your voice. It's just wrong, baby. In light of the peanut gallery having their moment, thank you all for coming. Come on, princess, we don't have time for this shit. Blessings to you all. I have no regrets, and I've learned to live my life unapologetically. The chihuahua was clearly bothered, which was my ultimate goal. Sure, I caused a scene, but everybody's still here, listening to my record, loving my record, because that's what a bad bitch does. <laughs> up on her way to the top. Mission accomplished. Oh my god. That's all it was. <sighs> Quick, easy, to the point. I said what I had to say, and bitch, it clearly wasn't a lie. You were obviously okay, a Okay, clearly you were telling the truth. Well, that was a circus, and the clowning was very entertaining. But what did you get out of that, Moniz? The legal action I took against Jason lit a little fire under his ass, and he decided to call Drew and sell out the mystery man behind the sex tape. <laughs> Philip is someone that I dated on and off for about two, two and a half years. I wanted more. He didn't want to give me what I felt I deserved, so we agreed to be friends. But I cannot believe that he would violate me in so many different ways, on so many different levels. The last time we spoke, I thought we were friends. Are we all? We're not friends. You and I dated on and on for what, roughly two years, maybe? Uh, right? Maybe. So when I'm in my own little bubble, and my son's father shows up to tell me, that Jason Lee has acquired a sex tape of me by way of you. Not by way of me. I have two Who phones. Who got it and how? Listen, I have two phones. Mm -hmm. The tape Please is make on sense the... of it, Philip. First of all, make sense of it, Philip, quickly. You have two no, phones. Mm -hmm. That phone becomes missing mysteriously. Yes, mysteriously. You, you know, don't know how. You know, I, I don't know how. If I knew it would be missing, Jason Lee finds the phone. I lost the phone. He was supposed to return it. He How? looked in the phone to see whose phone it is and stumbled across the video. This is clearly the biggest, boldest, most ignorant lie I have ever heard in my entire life. How is it that of all of the people you meet, Jason Lee happens to be the one to find this phone? And this phone just so happens to have a tape of me. The tape is safe with me. Nobody will ever have it. I want the only it's... copies of the tape that you have. There's only one copy because it's okay, in a phone. Okay, well then I need it. All right. You could send it to my attorney. Attorney for what? Somehow, some way, a way that I don't believe, that tape escaped your possession and was put into the possession of someone else and then disseminated. First of all, you don't have to worry about your tape getting out because I would never do that to you. But if that was the case of me being thirsty or whatever, I would just sell a tape to and get the bag. We would have just handled it after that. Philip can't look me in my face and convince me that the tape will never leak. It already did. This is me, genuinely offended, genuinely disgusted, and 100% mother angry that as my friend, you would not defend me and say, yo, bitch, this is wrong. Why wouldn't you do that? Listen, you don't know what I said to him. So then why don't you let me know? As somebody that I thought was my friend that would never do this to me, somebody that I dated, not just for fun, somebody that I confided in, somebody that I trusted in, someone who I've had conversations with about a relationship. For his sake, I hope he sends all the copies over to my attorney as I have requested. Same way I found him here, 
I can find him and get him to a courtroom. When are you going to send it? I'm going to send it a few days, but stop acting like it wasn't consensual. Nobody said that. The point but is But that's that beside the point. If it was consensual or not, Urgent. you're the only person with the tape. So when are you going to send the tape? I told you already. When are you going to send the tape? When I get back. I want every copy you There's have. There's only one copy. Give it to my mother face. I'm serious as Like, who the does stuff like this? You know why? Who does So Cisco foiled my plan, and now I feel like even more of a dummy for confiding in him in the first place. You good? You seem a little out of it. I think I'm just a lack of cootie cake. Uh -oh. I don't really want to be here eating mozzarella and tomatoes. You want to be doing what? I'd rather be home, you know, <laughs> baking cootie cakes. Girl. What is wrong with you? <laughs> a lot is wrong with me. Like, my friend, Tierra is mad at me. Why is and she mad at me? it's stressful. I should have known better than to take my little black ass over there to talk to Cisco, thinking that that would help. He, you know, went back to Tierra and told Tierra that Nia and I were basically talking about her. She ambushed Nia and I, you what? know, at home. Don't talk about my business. But at this point, you can't help anyone that doesn't want to be helped. That's true. Addicts don't realize how far gone they are. So at this point, I can only hope and pray my friend will accept the help that she needs. Babe, my cheese is dry. I know. But I know it's not dry. Big you can't. It's not a kitty cat, baby. It's Can a cootie cake. A poo poo? I like a poo. You weren't supposed to call it a poo. Yeah. Oh. 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 So Ray has been my gay husband for years, but when he gets excited and he gets revved up, his alter ego Rachel shows up. Hey, AB. You were supposed to wait, bitch, to go to hookah. Where did you come from? No, no, we have to talk. I'm having a moment. OK, go ahead, Rachel. What happened? I why is she mad with me about the Cardi Barbie that your Banji Bobcat friend jumped off the goddamn table like he was trying to get to his freedom? <laughs> we have a different level of expectation for you. But the thing was, he we met with Alexis. You. We so understand. So were inviting him to teach him about loyalty. Pure intentions or not, it all backfired at the expense of Masika and her event, and that's not cool. You can't tell when, when two people argue who's a fool. The fool was a person that came in overalls and water boots. Looked like he was going fishing. Okay. Well, he baited you and hooked you and reeled you right the f on in. He sure did. fell for it. Right. And as a matter of fact, she told me that they are going to get their nails done tomorrow. Girl, that's me and Masika's thing. Like, that's what we do. What you going to do, bitch? It's, it's crazy to me. I'm, I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to go see them, and I'm going to have a conversation with Masika. OK. And I'll try to, to speak to Zen. Good. As, as Rachel? As Ray. OK. Mm -hmm. All right, well, then that's that. So are we going to go to hookah Let's or not? Let's go hookah. Yeah, yeah. Get some hookah. I didn't know you two like to suck on anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> see, she's good at sucking. <laughs> I've got enough drama with my husband running around Vegas with skanks. So I don't need Moniz spreading false rumors about me and my pregnancy. Miss Keyboard Killers, where's she at? What type of person announces to the world that someone else is carrying somebody else's baby? I mean, I'm obviously pregnant. Maybe the type of person that would fake being a lesbian? No, it could be the type of person that tries to shame somebody's girlfriend and release a sex tape. Oh, no, I didn't do that, boo-boo. No, that was you. That was you and no, your boyfriend. You said you had a little sex tapey tape? Okay. Yeah, she has a hairy butthole. Focus on taking your meds and stop focusing on me. And if you have a problem, we can revisit this conversation in about two and a half months when I have my baby. Be blessed, everyone. Bye, have a great day. Will you drop that demon seat, bitch? Ah, I will. Maybe I'll show you how to be a good mother, too. Get her! 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 Get her!
<laughs> I've done nothing but ask all these bums to do nothing more than respect the fact that I am a mother first before anything else. Now, I'm supposed to give two that someone else is with child. As soon as Princess drops that demon seed, we can have a whole different conversation. She's a vessel for some nasty God of Satan. So I'll see that bitch in hell. So my baby daddy hit me and told me that AD wanted to talk about our relationship, but the only thing I could think of is that she's meeting with Drew to possibly negotiate her visitation with Cameron. Drew was nice enough to have my back for once and invite me over, and I'm glad that he did, because there's no way to my son without going through me. Hold on one second. It's not a lady in lingerie, but pretty close, bruh. Uh, I think it's the best time for y'all to just hash out whatever y'all need to talk about. Because I really don't want to be in the middle of it. She's not in Kim's life. She told me that she'll let me know when she's ready to have him in her life. And as his mother, that's not how it's going to be. When you have done the proper self-work to be a decent human being and you no longer are willing to abandon him, you can be a part of his life. At the end of the day, what does matter to me is Cameron's relationship, yeah. and that's the only reason why so I, I until care. Until we get through this, no. Cameron's not I an option. That's the point, and that's let me, fine. Let me say one thing. AD, you know, I've been in relationships since I've had Cam, and my exes ain't around. You gotta respect the kid's mom. If she don't want you around because y'all not together, then you're not gonna be in Cam's life. I understand that AD and Cameron have developed a bond over the last two years, but she's not a parent. She's not a stepmom. If AD and I finally put the nail in the coffin and we decide to break up for good, it's not healthy to expose my son to all of that. This relationship is toxic. This relationship is dysfunctional. Why? The arguments are intense. They make me feel things that I don't like about myself. I don't want to be right. around you. About you. It does. You can't face right. Truthful. We're very honest people, and I'm a private person. As you should be. You feel me, fam? I'm you a know, private person, so I didn't owe nobody an explanation. No, you no, didn't. Not, 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 not you, but not April told me how she's to get a lot of backlash for people thinking y'all right. were together. And that's right. Yeah, but she could. She could. I said not she yet. Could. So I never said no. You never said not yet. Yes. You said no. You would ask if we were And you said it's none of that. You said no. I'm just happy that y'all 
living y'all true life. Y'all got a special flow to that. The truth is finally out, and April's ass still can't keep it 100. This ain't no new relationship between the lies and you being on Instagram with Barney B. I don't even know who you are. Moving forward, I could definitely keep a cordial, but I just can't be friends with fake people. It is what it is. I'm happy for everybody. What's next? They let it out, they get married, all of that, kids, all of that, girl. They said they've been together, but they just didn't want to tell them about it. Oh. You didn't know they were together? Come on, man, let's skate, bro. I figured they were together. They never told you? They never told me they were together. You never told Moise that she was with? No, I don't have to. Well, I didn't say you had to. They asked me if I knew. I said no. I just knew that they were best friends. Yeah. So are we skating? Let's skate. Y'all about to go on tour and she was that yeah. baby daddy. Because whatever they going through don't have to do with me. Y'all come skating? Oh, I skated already. Skated already. Oh, okay. We going skating. Hey, Blue. Good to see you. I'm going to keep running. You ain't going to speak to her about the situation. What are you talking about? Girl, they is skating away, literally. <laughs> if it doesn't pertain to Cam, I don't owe Monique anything. She doesn't want to know about my relationship so that we can co-parent together. She wants to sabotage. It's been 10 years since I've been with Monique, and every time I get into a new situation, it's a problem for her. It makes me frustrated and stresses me out, and I'm just not going to engage anymore. You can't knock to everybody and tell everybody that don't mother matter that you're bitch you and him. When you want to sit in my face, the same way you sat in my face and lied and kikied about being best friends, when you want to sit in my face and tell me the truth respectfully, then I'll keep my hands to myself. So we, we are just going to jump right into it. April and Fizz, what is the status of your relationship? We're together. Yes. You guys are together. Absolutely. Now, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Monique, how do you feel about it? I don't care what they're doing. That's the point. I don't give a Okay. You do care. It's you when care. there's a kid in the mix. You guys disagree. There's a kid in the mix. That's what I care about. We know who you are behind the camp. Behind she the hasn't camera. been to a game in I don't know how long. Right. I, I show personally up. am not showing up anywhere because I come to Cameron's it's, games it alone. Matter. It should I matter. I come to Cam's games alone. Who's at Cam's okay. games? I don't know what the f I'm walking your son. into on any Period, given goddamn blank. day. I've been to jail for cracking a bitch's sternum and fracturing her cheekbones. I'm not going back. So I'll sit at home. And I'll sit in my dressing room oh, and we won't deal. That's what we're gonna do. Oh shoot. I'm not on the internet patting my <laughs> um announcing that, you know, my vagina's on sale for 20. <laughs> I'm not doing any of those things. So at the end of the day, don't tell me how to raise my <laughs> kid or what kind of mom I need to be. That's what right. I do for a living, okay. honey. Your business is my business. So that's what it is. <laughs> So you ready to go back out on stage? I am, here I am. Now, go. if you don't, you're going to bring your ass back out here and you're going to chill with, with me. I'm coming with you, best friend. Okay? Yeah, have my Hennessy ready, <laughs> All right. I'm... I want some of whatever the <laughs> was you were drinking on the last one. You, you girl, shut up. What you That was about? strong. When I was coming back to the show, I was like, these motherfuckers up here, really, this is going to be fun because I'm just going to come out here and just speak the truth. Oh, my God, Jason. Stop. Thank you, Moniece, so for joining us. Moniece is coming back. All right, so, Fizz, does somebody need to ask you about a situation, or should you go to them first? Absolutely. <laughs> Me and her was friends. What is there to have a conversation about? It hadn't gotten to this level. Okay. It didn't get to this level okay. until after the tour was over with. Okay. Period. Period. All right, so, all right. And I ain't gonna say nothing. So, Moniz, um, let me ask you this question. Do you believe that to be true? I don't care. <laughs> now she I don't literally care. only care about Cam, this was not my best friend. Me and you have not slept together since, since I found out I was pregnant. 
This season, I was hell-bent. I'm not going in here. What did I say to you, April? I'm not about to fight with you because at the end but of the day, I But you came for me on I the was, internet, yes? I did, and I did. Maloney, you talk so you much here. Shut the up. <laughs> the same bitch just said I extort my <laughs> The same bitch spreading lies that I'm pregnant. Shut the all right. For two people who say they don't what? care, it seems like y'all care. I'm well, not this... bothered by them being together. And since I'm not a bad mom, I actually don't disparage to in front of Cameron. I don't down his dad. Okay, let me ask this question. Does the timeline match up for you of them only dating for this last year? I don't know what they had going on prior to that. They've been living together. Tierra, do you know anything about the timeline of the two of them? Yeah, somebody said that you guys were, like, hugged up at a hookah bar. Maybe, like, a year never, or two ago. Never, never. I was dating people two years ago. Well, it just sounds okay. weird that they saw that and now it's this. I think what is was confusing for people watching the show and you guys were adamant about just being friends. We so, never put a title on anything okay. period. until we chose to do that. Period. And then be like, okay, you want to see where this could go? Do you like me? Yes, I like you sort of thing. At this point, we don't care, Fizz and April, if y'all together. The fact that we just been asking because y'all been playing the whole time, I just want to know when. We were friends, but I'm not gonna go into detail, oh yeah, we're friends, but he likes me. Y'all don't deserve that. So are you friends with anybody on this cast? Uh, like, no, probably not, no. no. <laughs> 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 April, can you clear something up? Because sure. I know there was a rumor that you were expecting that you were pregnant, is that true? Because it came from her. No, it actually came from someone on your baby daddy's team. It no, came it from her. It came from someone, on the, when she someone on who's the best internet. friends with my mother, who no. is a Girl part by. of O's team. No, okay. no. It came, actually it came called my mommies, came, which is how he got all the information no. on Drew, because I handed it the f How many information on Drew? Information he on has me. a lot to talk about. Girl, goodbye. She went on when she found out we were together. The, the same person said she has no problem with it. Oh, congratulations to April Jones, Teeny Fizzlepop on their situation ship, their ship, but you don't care. Girl, bye. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sin Santana, and if you liked everything you just watched, make sure you subscribe to the new Love & Hip Hop YouTube channel. It's new, y'all, so you gotta resubscribe. Not the old one, the new one.